I'm gonna tell you a story. I'll take a break tonight. I know it's warm in here. I know you're not gonna drink. So thank you. I'm gonna tell you a story, and then we'll get on our way. I uh, now at the beginning of the pandemic, I you know everybody got uh, a little turned upside down by it. I was not sure what comedy was gonna be like. I didn't know if I was gonna travel to do comedy in an airplane. I don't know if we were gonna be able to gather in rooms anymore. I bought a van. I bought like a converted like camper van. Cause I'm like shit, man. If I gotta go pull up in front of somebody's house, open the side door, tell some jokes, and move on to the next house, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll I'll pedal my wares old timey style. You know, I, I don't care. I'll Jehovah's Witness these bits around the country. <laughs> Jehoker's Witnesses, that's what it's called. <laughs> nope, nope, I'm gonna cut that one out. That sucked. <laughs> this is why I don't riff. So I bought this van, and uh, the first stop with it to kind of test it all out, get used to it. I went down uh, camping with friends. I went to Joshua Tree National Park. And uh, yeah, okay, we know Joshua Tree, but also, you know national parks. This is Utah. You have, hmm, whoa, wow, wow. Just <laughs> stuff that you're like, don't anybody touch this. This is amazing. Arches, what's happening here? Look at, oh, dinosaur footprints? Oh, you mean God little, God's little tricksters? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, I won't bother those. <laughs> but you know, but that is astonishing landscape. Just a little further south, Grand Canyon. I have to rub my eyes every time I'm there to be like, this is not a painting. This is a real, just this, this is a geographic anomaly a hole that big that I'm looking at. Um, but then you go to Joshua Tree after seeing that stuff, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I said, no, I said, you got, you got the rock that's on top of the other rock over there. <laughs> that's been that's pretty wild, yeah, look at that. Anyway, what's over this way? Oh, bullshit. Oh, look, look at the rock that's on the, on the rock and a couple trees and doing the thing there. All right, so it's, it's, you know, it's, it's nice that it's there, but it's kind of just like, yeah, it's, it's like a geographic Kardashian, you know. <laughs> Just, it's, it's hot and of no value, but we somehow keep trying to make it a thing, you know? So, you know, and all the, all the honky witches from LA and the Stevie Nicks cosplayers go out there and recharge their crystals, which, all right, all right, let's, all right I'm making fun of it, but you know what? If, if crystals make you happy, you're not hurting anybody, go have your special rocks. People have, people have rabbit's feet. Have a, put a rock on a windowsill in the moonlight and the next day you hold it, you feel less anxiety. You're not hurting anybody, go for it. It's weird times. We all can extract energy from unorthodox sources in this world. If you're, yeah, listen, I, get, I don't do crystals, that's not my thing. I find a balance and a fairness in this world, uh, just an equilibrium, whenever I see an attractive person getting on a Southwest flight last. That's... <laughs> That's when I know that there is some small undercurrent of justice in this world. You know, you, you just, just see a supermodel, just somebody gorgeous, a gorgeous individual, and then you see that C on their boarding card, and you know they have no idea. And you're like, oh, honey, you're about to learn how the world really works. Yeah, you got bumped off a United flight or something, now you're here with the great unwashed. This is gonna be fun. Because they always stand at the front of the plane with nothing but middle seats open. They're just like, I don't, but I can't, but why? But what am I going to do? You're going to rub some elbows with some stinkers. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> Squeeze in here with some slobs coming home from Vegas and make some friends. <laughs> I like a little snort. Have a little snort. I don't care. Laugh how you need to laugh. <laughs> but so we went out there and just did um, uh, drugs. Uh, I mean, like, it's, <laughs> but, like, uh, but not, I, I don't even want to say it like in a woo, like, do you guys do this? I don't even, just did mushrooms. I just think they're good for you. They're good for you psychologically. I'm doing, yeah, okay. And I'm not, I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to proselytize about it. Do them safely. Do them around people that have done them before that you trust. And do them outside. That's all you got. Don't do them in an apartment because you're just like, fucking the toilet it just has water that goes into the earth, man. <laughs> Anything's a wishing well if you dream big enough, man. <laughs> Is that where my car keys are?
I'm turning it into a Ferrari. <laughs> so just go, I mean, and, I, and you can have a bad trip, but it's not, I mean, I, I'm not even talking about acid. Just like, I had a bad trip on this one. Not bad, bad, but like, I just, I was with a group of dudes and they, I was outnumbered as far as the soundtrack of the trip went. And so they wanted to listen to jam bands and I found a new kind of hell for myself. <laughs> If jam bands are your thing, good for you. Bless your heart on that stuff. I do not hear a jam. I never hear a jam. I hear five stepdads who do not know how to end a song. That's what I hear. I don't, I don't care what name of the band you tell me it is. It's one band for the names of them all. It's called Noodly Lou and the Turd Herders. And it's five dads in cargo shorts. And one guy wants to end it. You know one guy in the band... There's no end to this joke. It just goes on. In being, in being faithful to that genre of music, the joke just goes on until everybody's like, we do have to get out of here. That really, that's no shit on that one. At the end of the weekend, everybody left. And, uh, you know, after we all just sat there frying out, sinking in the sand, everybody left. I was the last one to leave, and my van did the same thing. It sank into the sand. Who would have thought big old heavy van and loose sand wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't agree with each other? But I was the last one to go, so I'm just there by myself. I'm like, uh-oh, I'm spinning the tires, and I'm throwing debris under the tires, trying to get traction. I, I wish I was the guy that knew those kind of things. Just, <laughs> oh, we're just gonna leverage, you could put some weight on this uh, opposite angle and then the rear differential, that's actually gonna go counterclockwise unless you grab traction. I'm not that guy. I had to look up on the internet what to say for that part of the bit. <laughs> The guy was like, they're going, but they're not going. It's around, but not forward. I'm just a guy who just is sweaty holding his phone. Like, I, I, uh. <laughs> Usually there's a lot of answers in this. And I did, I looked at my phone, had fantastic service out there. Go figure, Verizon. Hey, what are you, in the middle of nowhere? Full bars. Hey, you in an actual city where you live and conduct business? Why don't you suck our dicks? So, that's... <laughs> it's an odd choice for them to do that that way. But I had full bar. I'm like, all right. I, I called AAA. I don't know. <laughs> I've been paying them shits for years. <laughs> I think, and, I, and I don't call them for the little things. Flat tire, I do it myself. Ran out of gas, do it myself. I think I can call, call the big favor on them. So I'm like, all right, now AAA. And they're like, where are you located? I'm like, ha ha. Um, it's, it's out there. Because we weren't even in the part of the, of the national park where there were still rangers. We were just out in the mafia burial ground. <laughs> so I was just like, I, 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 there's not a lot of numbers out here unless you want to count cow skulls. I'll just, I'll drop a pin and we'll see if that works. <laughs> and, and to their credit, dropped a pin within an hour. I saw a little white triple A van just bopping along the dirt road that I came in on just come to bring and I, and I could see because there's a van so it's a big windshield I could see from a distance the guy behind the wheel is just like <laughs> and he pulled
pulled, his window is down. The first thing he said, he just goes, I can't do anything. <laughs> and I was like, I know, but <laughs> now you're here. And... <laughs> Two heads, better than one. Huh? And so he was pissed, but he's obligated. <laughs> so then we were just hanging out. Two of us were just leaning on his van, looking at my van. <laughs> Neither one of us having any answers. <laughs> and finally, after a while, he just goes, I can call Garrett. <laughs> he gave me no context <laughs> to who Garrett, he just said it, like that's, a, that's how we're gonna do it, we'll call Garrett. He, does Garrett work for AAA too? Maybe Garrett has an independent towing company. Maybe Garrett has a gun and he's gonna come out and he's gonna put a bullet in my head and you guys are gonna split whatever you get for selling my van. And you can tell me that plan now like a super villain cause you know, like, oh, you're gonna die. Let me tell you exactly how. So, but I have no choice but to be optimistic. So I'm like, oh, Garrett, yeah. Shit, I mean, I don't know him, but that's a strong name. That's a guy who gets something done. Garrett will get it done. I don't know what it is, but he'll do it. I fuck like, Garrett, yeah, and this guy wasn't having my shit. He goes, he's got a 350. And I'm like, oh, man, maybe you can get like a 400? I don't know. <laughs> what are we talking? I don't know. If these numbers are important, can you get more of the numbers? Like, he's also got a Cummins. I'm like, what's that? I hope that's a Goins. <laughs> he, was, he, wasn't in the, he wasn't into the truck humor. He wasn't feeling it. So he shuffled off, and uh, he called Garrett. <laughs> and within 20 minutes, this Mad Maxian cloud <laughs> just appeared on the horizon, just, just tearing at us as if born of the setting sun. <laughs> this was the phoenix that was Garrett. And he was coming right at us. Now, you know national parks are very precious about them, and as they should be. They're trying to preserve that shit. But you get there, and they're not screwing around. They're like, stay on the trail. Leave no trace. Pack in what you pack out. Don't look at any of the animals in the face. They can't know you're here. <laughs> Actually, we'd prefer it if you left. That should be the slogan for national parks. Welcome to your national parks. We'd prefer it if you left. You're really only harming this beautiful place. <laughs> Garrett was not adhering to those rules. <laughs> Garrett was a firm believer in the concept that the quickest way between two points was a straight line. <laughs> so he was driving as the crow flies. <laughs> Save for a couple swerves into the namesake shrubs. <laughs> There was a cu couple deliberate moves where I could, Garrett was driving like somebody named Joshua had just fucked his mother. <laughs> and he was taking it out on your tax funded public land. <laughs> There's a couple hard jerks of the wheel where you could die. He's like, just cause your dick's in her doesn't mean I'm calling you dad. <laughs> So that's, that's what was tearing at us. And I could see it was a truck. Of course, truck, 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 truck. <laughs> give me a truck, I want a truck. Taller, taller than that. Taller, give me another one. Put it on top of that one. <laughs> Tall, now wide. Make it a dually, thick. I want a thick truck. <laughs> I want a truck with sexy hips. <laughs> I want a juicy, curvy truck. I love my curvy truck. Give me a thick, tall, le leggy, curvy truck with a big ass, a breedable ass. <laughs> big, wide, breedable ass. Something I can hang on to when we slow dance. Give me a big, <laughs> thick, curvy, but nuts. Put nuts on it, make sure there's nuts. Dangle some nuts. Dangle some little nuts off that fuckable ass. Thick truck, thick, curvy truck with nuts. Yeah, she'll do. She'll do. I got her parked around back, she'll tow it. Don't tell me you don't understand pronouns at that point when you got a big curvy truck with nuts that you call she and her. How can one thing be a they? Look at your truck, dude. <laughs> you fucking, you white trashed yourself into being progressive. You didn't even know it. 
And it was tall, and I get, listen, and I get lift kits. I understand that there's some utility to having a lift kit, especially out there. You need ground clearance. But you know that some of these dudes that are getting lift kits, like, they're, they're just using altitude to hide from alimony payments. You can tell <laughs> that some of those guys have kids. You're probably here now. You know what you did. You probably, <laughs> you concocted your own legal loophole where you, you're just like, you can't serve me papers if you can't reach me, dude. That's... <laughs> That's the law. That's just the law. That's the law. <laughs> just laying flat in the cab whenever baby mamas come around looking for money. <laughs> Fuck, she's still out there, dude. Fuck, oh. What money, Sharice? Look at this exhaust system. I don't have any money. So that's what's coming at me. As it gets close, I can see that there's graphics on the truck. He's got graphics. And it's, it's, it's like a graphics, like a wrap. And it's the front of it. That's all I can see so far. It's skulls. Skulls. Yeah, skulls. I get it. Skulls. They're unicorns for dudes. Skulls. <laughs> but as he's getting closer, I can see that all skulls have, uh, they're wearing gas masks. And that was confusing me. Because I was like, why do you need a gas mask if you're a skeleton person? <laughs> you don't have a respiratory system. What do you... What do you got, allergies? You don't got lungs, man. You can't... Fuck, oh, the, 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 the disease about the ribs. You're fine. But then I was like, no, maybe they were people. They were people. They put on the gas mask, but they didn't work. Now they're skeletons. Whoa, heavy shit, Garrett. <laughs> but then he got even closer, and I could see that all the skulls... They had big smiles on behind the gas mask. And I was like, Garrett's rolling in here with more questions than answers. <laughs> and then Garrett, he finally gets to the campsite then. He pulls in and now, I can, now I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle. I can see the profile of the truck. Now I can see the side. I see that the skull wrap, it gives away. It didn't like fade to the next day. It was like, it was like clawed away. Like, like the bald eagle came and like, you experienced the justice. And then, because then the back half was just, it was all text. It was all like script, whatever font the constitution's written in. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Patriot Sands or whatever, but that, that was all over the curvy hips of the truck. And I'm reading, I'm like, right away, I'm assuming, probably 2A, probably Second Amendment. That's the kind of thing you see on this truck. Never really championing the First Amendment. You never see a bumper sticker on a truck like that that's just like, sing your truth. It's never, it's never that. <laughs> it's usually some sort of come and take it type situation. So I'm reading it, but as I'm reading it, I don't see anything about right to bear arms or, you know, defend. I just see, uh, shall prevent against illegal search and seizure and personal property and all that stuff. I'm like, that's the Fourth Amendment. <laughs> My man Garrett has his truck wrapped in the Fourth Amendment. <laughs> and that's when I realized something very specific had happened to Garrett. <laughs> you don't just cherry pick. You're not just like, I'm an American, pick one, I don't care, wrap it up, dude. <laughs> something went wrong with Garrett for him to be like Fourth Amendment for that. He got, I don't, he, he got busted selling reptile eggs on the dark web. <laughs> But he found a flaw in the warrant and decided that he, he could defend himself in court. That's the best I could come up with. He just showed up and just, you know, said shit. Like, well, respectfully, Your Honor, okay, uh, the warrant is looking for Bolivian salamanders. And if I could point you to Exhibit A, uh, the evidentiary photographs, and you not see any Bolivian salamander eggs here, do you? I'm not to the untrained eye, but I can tell you that these, these are Honduran geckos. Uh, <laughs> Now that is a similar spotting for any uh, any uh, uh, people out there that want. That's a similar spotting, but these are legal, and I believe uh, the 13 to 18 of the lower uh, uh, the, the states that are stuck together. Um, <laughs> as long as I fill out the proper paperwork at the post office, ergo, ergo, Your Honor, respectfully, uh, this whole thing should be thrown out. Ergo. <laughs> Respectfully. And you could tell she had just had enough. She's like, that's the third time this week, Garrett. No, God damn it. $75 fine. And that's what just sent him over the edge. Like, not my America. Hell no. You do not tread on me. I will not be treadeth upon. You're treading on me. I don't want to be treading on. Just fucking wrap the truck. Fourth Amendment. I'm not putting up this shit. 
No more. Fuck it. You do not tread on me. You don't, nobody tread. By the way, by the way, I do have the rattlesnake eggs from the don't tread on me flag, but, um, but hit me up on my hotmail because the feds are monitoring my Yahoo account, all right? This, I'm still just making up the story. I've not met Garrett yet. First impression I have of Garrett were his feet. I saw his feet, because I was on the passenger side. I was eye level with the step rail. First thing I saw of Garrett was underneath. I couldn't see into the truck. I could see underneath the truck. I saw two little dangling slip-on vans, tennis shoes. That's what I saw. Just out there, just looking for the ground. Just, you know. And I do not... I, for all the details, I, I do not remember the size of Garrett. I don't remember because all I know is that if you have to exit your vehicle like you're leaving a tree house, you're gonna look like a little fella. <laughs> you're gonna look tinier than you really are. But I kind of liked him right away because he had to take that leap of faith to get out of there. And he did it, I, even without seeing him, I could see it was a good attitude because the way he came down with a real like, ha ha, here's Garrett. <laughs> like a real, like, real ginger outlook on him, I liked it. So he came around the front, uh, and this is the first time now I'm seeing Garrett in his full form. And uh, he had this look, I, you probably know this look out here, it's a very much a West Coast kind of look, I don't know how to describe, it's, it's like, it's kind of like LA gangster, but then it's also like white trash kind of dude, Not in a, but, like, but like suicidal tendencies meets super cross kind of look like, <laughs> You know, it's, it, it, it's, like, it's the tall socks and the long shorts, but then it's a Monster Energy shirt <laughs> or some sort of energy drink. And, and, and then, but like the kind of guy that you could tell, even if he only spent one night in jail for a DUI, still like say like, back when I was incarcerated, like they love. <laughs> some about the hard C and incarcerated. Oh man, when I was incarcerated, like you were there for 12 hours. And then the face is always too young for that. And, I, and I'm still scared of that look. Whatever age, I don't care, because even if you're not tough, you're still crazy. You still have like a sleeve tattoos and you do weird flips on motorcycles. I'm not gonna fight you. You know you have butterfly knives that you're clumsy with, but we'll still take them out. <laughs> Fucking what, bro, what? Fluria chrome, dude, Fluria chrome. <laughs> and then the neck up, it's always too young of a face. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a goatee, but you could tell it's a goatee that they dream that it was bigger. You could tell that, you could tell they asked Jesus for it. They're like, mm, at night, just, mm, please. <laughs> Doink, oh, thank you. <laughs> and the part that throws me off the most is that there's always a flat brim hat, flat brim ball hat that's way too big. It always looks like a Peanuts character. <laughs> and then they tuck their ears into the side. Do you guys know this look I'm talking about? All right, the ear thing throws me off the most. Because the rest of it, like, all right, kind of a gnarly, you know, desert tweaker, mountain weirdo, I get it. But then the ears in the hat thing is always like, what, now that's like real Rudy vibes that undermine the whole toughness of the rest of it. Cause it's like kind of tough, kind of tough, 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 tough. And then up here, it's just like, coach says, once I grow into the uniform, I'm gonna be a real scrapper. <laughs> and that's so confusing. Either way, that's who stood before me. This was Garrett. And he didn't waste any time. He goes, that's your van? I'm like, yeah, he's like, fucking sick. And went, he just had chains, 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 got right back into his truck, got in, rolled some coal. Pulled me right back onto the dirt road. And, yeah. And that was it. That happened that fast. And I was like, oh, shit, this, this is great. I'm saved. What I realized then is that we had not discussed payment yet. Yeah. We didn't go over that part. Now I'm in the desert, and I owe a stranger a favor. <laughs> and it's not often that later in life you get to have a new kind of fear. But I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> we didn't talk about money. I don't have cash, and I don't have grass. <laughs> I 
I guess what I have right now is a very open mind. <laughs> but I did have credit cards. And Garrett's like, he's like 200 bucks. I'm like, oh, do you take credit cards? He goes, I'll take your credit cards. <laughs> I, I, meant, I meant his payment, not as just strong arm robbery. But. <laughs> he's like, no, no, I got a square for my phone to swipe. I'm like, of course you do. It's great service out here, of course. <laughs> Full bars, yeah, okay. But he's like 200 bucks. I'm like, there's no way it's gonna be 200 bucks. Just tell me what you're gonna buy when you steal my credit card information. I'll get it for you. I don't wanna reset pin numbers. Just put together an Amazon wish list like a porn star. I owe you. Let me hook you up. <laughs> that was it, it was 200 bucks. There's no discrepancies on my credit card statements, and he got me out of there. And that's the end of that story, and it should be a good end. It's, it, is, it is a good end, in theory. Well, the pr reason it's not a good end is because now I can't judge dudes like Garrett anymore. <laughs> and that sucks. At 45, you want to be like, I'm set in my ways. I got things figured out. Now, all of a sudden, I can't judge a book by its cover anymore. <laughs> and that's a drag. That's my safe place in this world. That's where I feel comfortable is walking around thinking I got everybody figured out, and so fuck them. That's how I feel good. <laughs> Look at you, you dress like an asshole. I bet your kids don't love you. Oof, you got a girl pregnant in high school. Thank God I'm better than everybody around me. But no, now Garrett has to come along and flip the script on me, and now I gotta sit behind those trucks on the highway and think, like, instead of wanting to see him flip over and burst into flames, I'm like, you might be saving an asshole like me from dying in the middle of nowhere. Godspeed, Garrett, I don't know what to tell you. And it, and it's weird because, I, and I think the world wants me to learn this lesson. It's a bad character trait to be judgmental like that. And I know that. I'm still that way. Garrett, that was part one of the lesson. I think part two is the fact that at 45, I don't know if it's age or if it's different medications that I'm on now because of my various ailments, I always have some pee in my pan. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Not a lot. Just like a half dollar's worth. All the time, just all the time. Not enough to go to the doctor about, but enough to keep me humble. So I leave it there. I leave it there because I want to be a better person. I don't want it there. I drip it twice and then I shake it like it owes me money. You're gonna pay up, right? Yeah, boss man, yeah. Then as soon as I put it back in my, my pant, betrayal, just boom. As soon as I put it in there, just a little, Three lick cat bath right in the front. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Just right there on the front. Like, ah, yes. Yeah, cold tip, permanent cold tip. <laughs> so, between Garrett and that, I think the universe is trying to keep me in line because I'll still I'll revert to that kind of way where I'm like, look at this asshole over here. I bet, oh, I bet, I bet you got a girl knocked up in high school and then you never <laughs> talked to her again. And then some part of my brain's like, you think he's got some pee in his pants right now? Like, you know what? Probably not. I don't know anything about you. You don't know anything about me. Let's just get on in this world and be okay with each other. Salt Lake City, thank you so very much. Um, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, guys.